Hey everyone, it's the Chaplain here coming to you with a little bit of BBR Explained. This is my new series on the BBR rules and parts of the rules that sometimes get a little lost in translation. There are some differences between Global 1940 Out of Box and the BBR, and so the purpose of these videos is to shed some light on those differences. Today's video is on combined arms, and what this means is that one unit is boosted by another unit. And so, on page 30 of your BBR rulebook, there's a picture of the card, or you can just have the card, and then a little blurb about it. Now, long story short, some units boost other units. And a lot of you uh, veterans know this to be true. So if, if this is you, then you know just give me a thumbs up anyway and say good job or something in the comments. If it's not you and you're a noob, you need to know this. There are some units that are made stronger by other units. For example, an infantry unit costs three IPCs, okay? Normally they attack at a one. That's a pretty weak unit. But if you pair it with an artillery, now it attacks at two. That's pretty basic, all right? When they first introduced artillery into the game, this is one of the things that they introduced. When they introduced mechanized infantry into the game, it is the same thing. If you pair it with an artillery, now your mech attacks at a 2. Tactical Bomber normally attacks at a 3. It's a pretty good unit. Okay, It attacks and defends at a 3. It's, you know, you got a 50-50 shot, but you also have that 50-50 shot with a tank. And they're less expensive. They don't go as far, but they're less expensive. But if you pair a Tactical Bomber with a tank, now it attacks at a 4. My thumb is up, so my bad. Additionally, if you put a tactical bomber with a fighter, it attacks at a four. If you pair a mechanized infantry with a tank, the mechanized infantry can blitz. Now, there's a difference between blitzing and just moving two, okay? So let's see, let's see if we can get this into the shot here. All right, so the United Kingdom has a mechanized here. He can go one, two. Beautiful. Great. Wonderful. That's a movement of two. But let's say that this was Italian controlled. I just need an Italian marker to simulate this. All right, so he's Italian controlled. This cannot blitz and claim that like a tank could. So a tank sitting here could go one, two if it wanted and claim that and move into here. This mechanized can't do that. He just can't. He has to stop his movement and claim it unless he's paired with a tank. Now he can blitz one and two. It's pretty simple. Blitzing is something that we learned in Axis now as classic. You know, tanks can blitz through unoccupied enemy territories. Now, if you pair a mechanized with a tank, it too can blitz. Um, transports in G40 out of box are defenseless. And a single transport in BBR is also defenseless. But if you pair them up, if you have two transports, every pair of transports defends at one. So I have six transports. I have three defending at one. My stinking thumb keeps getting in the way. Hey, why don't you hold the card better? Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> any of your planes with a destroyer can hit subs. That's a pretty neat rule. And then we also have... A battleship and a cruiser paired up. Now your cruiser defends at four, not attacks, but defends. Those are your combined arms, and those are important to know because if you have, for example, a large fleet in the Pacific, and you have a good amount of battleships, you might want a good amount of cruisers to defend. So over here, I've got, in the 1942 setup, there's a battleship and a cruiser there, and there's two transports a sub, and a destroyer. So if that navy were to be attacked, I would have two at four, one at one, two at two, and I've got three planes in there that I would scramble as well, probably, more than likely. So that's a pretty good defense. It definitely, definitely benefits you to make sure that you're purchasing units that pair up. You don't want to buy seven infantry and no artillery if you plan on having an offense. Now, in Russia, that might make sense. You just buy infantry to defend Moscow. But I'm going to be honest with you, friends. I just got done getting my butt kicked by Lieutenant Dan. And he sent maybe 17 tanks 
and a handful of planes. He had some infantry that he dropped in, para, um, para dropped in, and and things of that sort. But I lost Moscow. I had two tanks, a AAA, and 33 infantry. So I lost almost 40 units, and he lost maybe seven. Okay? Now, the dice were definitely against me in that particular instance, but infantry alone are not enough. You need something that is paired up, especially if you're planning on counterattack. So keep in mind all of these combined arms. Again, it's, it's on the card. If you don't have the cards, it's on page 23 of your rule book in card form. Um, all of this, by the way, is available for free download um, from Sired Blood himself on his website, siredblood.com slash community. Um, if you're not part of that, you definitely should be. And if you are part of that, then uh, kudos to you. It's definitely been a, a great help. It's been a, a, it's a great community. There's been a lot of great conversation had on there, strategies, tactics, rules, developments, adding, taking away rules, etc., etc. So definitely check that out. Um, I will actually post the link in the description video of, in the description box of this video, rather. Um, so make sure that you check that out. I think that's it for combined arms. Uh, again, it's a pretty basic, simple concept, but if you're planning a counterattack at all, make sure you have some combos to make stuff happen. I'm the chaplain. I'll be praying for you.